Today, join me for a brand new installment of Fan Mail Friday. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And it is Friday, which means it's time for another installment of the Ghostbusters News Fan Mail Friday. And before we get into today's unboxings, uh, if there's anything you would like to send into the Ghostbusters News headquarters, uh, you can certainly find our address. It is right down below in the video description for today. Now that I got that out of the way, let's focus in on today's unboxings, today's installment of Fan Mail Friday with uh, first and foremost, I've got this envelope here, this letter from Xander Price. And this isn't the first time Xander's name has actually popped up in a Ghostbusters news video. I mean, just recently, we took a look at the uh, the Spangler Neutrono one. More importantly, I modified this rear handle here of the Spangler Neutrono one. And to do that, I actually 3D printed a back, uh, back handle grip here that Xander designed. So this mod couldn't have been done without Xander, so I certainly thank him for that. But once again, uh, we're gonna go back to the, uh, the actual envelope here today because once again, it's Fan Mail Friday. Let's go ahead and tear inside and see what uh, old Xander sent sent me here at the Ghostbusters News headquarters. All right, this is actually pretty cool here. Do we have any Fallout fans out there? Because I've got this really, really snazzy Ghostbusters Fallout mashup patch. I really love the design here. I mean, I spent countless, countless hours in the wasteland playing Fallout 3 and uh, Fallout New Vegas back in the day. So I, I certainly dig, dig this patch. Now there is also a couple business cards uh, inside the envelope here. Uh, one of which is actually advertising Xander's uh, Etsy store right here uh, called Nerdy Notions. For those that don't have a 3D printer and you actually just wanna buy one of these grips, uh, Xander actually sells them directly through his Etsy store. So if you'd like to snag uh, one of these grips so you can actually do this mod yourself, I'm gonna once again feature his Etsy link right down below in the description. But yeah, really, really cool. I love, love, love Love the patch, Xander. Such a cool concept, such a cool idea. Executed perfectly. Uh, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and move on over to the next envelope here today. And this one is from, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly, Remy Papito? R-E-M-E. -E. I think that's Remy. If it's not, I apologize. Now inside of here, let's see what we got. We have uh, two folded pieces of paper here. Let's uh, first open up this one, which looks like it uh, has a lot of writing on it. Hello, Jason. I'm Remy. I'm 13 and I love watching your vids. Hey, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I really love your Ecto-1 build videos and every day I check for a new video. You've inspired me to start being a Ghostbuster. I've even started a tiny collection. Sadly, it's not the most accurate but I have a custom name patch. He also says that he's included a drawing, which I'm assuming is the uh, the other folded piece of paper here. Uh, he says, your fellow Ghostbuster Remy. P.S. I was shaking making this letter uh, as you are my favorite YouTuber. Man, that's, that's awesome, thank you. He also says, hope you like the drawing. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that drawing. And we've got, uh, oh, really, really cool. We got this awesome drawing here of the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Made to look obviously as it did in the original Ghostbusters film. Now that's not all, there's also questions on the uh, the back of the paper here. Uh, asking me, uh, who is my favorite Ghostbuster? Ray Stance. Uh, do you build your Proton Pack? And if you didn't, where did you get it? And how much is it? Uh, I got it actually from a gentleman named Colin. Yeah, he used to be a member of the Ontario Ghostbusters. He ran a site, I believe it was called Multimedia Mayhem, so I bought it from him. I can't really recall the exact price. I want to say it was around 1200 1100 somewhere around that range. He asks, can you write back? Well, uh, I mean, I'm kind of answering all your questions right now. So, um, you know, I don't really need a write back, I don't think. But if you want, feel free to send in more questions to the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, and I'll answer them right here on Fan Mail Friday. Uh, from there, what do you think of the new Spengler Neutrona wand? I love it. Who is your favorite ghost in the movies? Well, I would have to answer good old Vigo the Carpathian. And last but not least, if you were to guess how much money your collection is, how much would it be? Um, I, I, I can't really guess. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm horrible right now at answering these questions. I, I can't fathom. So Remy, I want to thank you so much for sending in this awesome, awesome uh, drawing of the Ecto-1. And uh, yeah, I mean, saying that I'm your favorite YouTuber, that's, that's insane. Um, I, I really do thank you so much. It does mean a lot. Now coming up next, we've got our final unboxing for today's video, and it is a large package here. Um, and I'm not actually too sure what's in it here. This is from a Diego Lopez. Diego, how you doing? Uh, I have no idea what you sent here. 
Uh, the description here reads, uh, collectible toys. So, I mean, it's Ghostbusters and collectible toys, so I'm, I'm already excited. So let me go ahead and open this, and cool! This is something in Canada I was actually not able to track down. It is the GameStop exclusive Ghostbusters 35th anniversary box set. EB Games here in Canada, which is pretty much like the uh, Canadian version of GameStop, they never carried it. Really the closest I've been able to find for this is the, um, it's made by the same company, Culturefly, who also made this box. They made a Walmart Ghostbusters exclusive box set, but it has totally different items inside. So I'm really, really excited to, uh, to actually get my hands on this. D Diego, thank you. Thank you so much, man. In fact, let me go ahead. I mean, I wanna, I wanna open this thing. I've been waiting for this. I don't know, like it came out, I think it was spring of 2019, uh, just in time for the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters. So I've been waiting for this thing for like a year and a half and, and I finally, finally have it. So inside the box, there's a ton of goodies. First and foremost here, we've got ourselves a Ghostbusters hat featuring the No Ghost logo on the front there, and also this really cool uh, slime effect there. Now I'm gonna try and put this hat on, uh, but let me tell you, I've got a massive, massive cranium. I mean, you guys watch the videos, you, kn you know, I, I got a, I got a large head and nobody ever says anything in the comment section about it. So I, I thank you for that. Um, it's, it's freakishly big, but uh, let me go ahead and see, does it fit? It fits. The hat actually fits. Love the inclusion of this, this no ghost hat here. Uh, after that, we've got ourselves, oh, I'm digging this. This is a Slimer water bottle here. We got this great shot of Slimer on the side there, looking really, really happy. And we even have like the dripping slime effect featured on the top of the bottle as well. It goes without saying, but uh, going forward, of course, this is gonna be like my go-to water bottle. Really love this. After that, we've got ourselves a Ghostbusters toiletry bag that looks like a Ghostbusters ghost trap. Now, I know recently, I think it was like either like late last year or early this year, we took a, a look at a very similar bag. I think it was released by the company The Coop. That one was toted as a lunch bag, while this one is being marketed as a toiletry bag. But really, at the end of the day, it's a bag that looks like the Ghostbusters ghost trap. And, uh, you know, that's, that's really all I need in life to be happy. Just, I, yeah, yeah, this is good. This is a keeper. After that, we've got ourselves a Gozer the Gozerian Ghostbusters notebook. Now, this is actually kind of an interesting piece because I recently just received this exact notebook uh, in a previous episode of Fan Mail Friday. So I actually have two of these now, which is actually a really good bonus because I wanted to keep one pristine, which actually means for the other one, I can use it well as an actual notebook. And speaking of things I've previously received in Fan Mail Friday, uh, the actual box also came with its uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 enamel pin. Now being that this one arrived on the card and everything and still like in the plastic, I'm likely gonna keep it this way just for collection sake. But let me just reiterate on this pin here because I talked about it in a previous video. I love the design here. We got the Ecto-1, the caution striping, who you gonna call? Really, it's a slick design. Uh, love the execution on this one. Now coming up next, oh, he's adorable. Oh my God, this is such a cute Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's so fat. I mean, just look how adorable old Stay Puff is here. We've got the big happy face there. For the details there, of course, he's got the sailor's hat hanging off the uh, the side of his head there. We've got the sailor's bib there. And like I said, when I first saw him there, I mean, he's looking huge. These proportions, they are they are something else. But yeah, I love this, uh, this Stay Puff. Uh, so, so adorable here. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna say he's one of my favorites, because I've only had him for you know a couple minutes in hand, but uh, this is, he really is adorable. I love him. After all, Stay Puft here, we've got this really slick piece of Ghostbusters wall art. And once again, this is being just advertised as wall art. It's not a sticker or anything like that. I can go out and get a really nice frame and you know set it up somewhere here in the collection room, which you know what? I think, I think I'm gonna do. Now there's one more item in the box and it is the Proton Pack Vinyl Collectible, which uh, from what I believe, this is gonna include a, well, obviously a vinyl proton pack inside. All right, so this is it. So yeah, pretty much a, uh, a scaled down version of the Ghostbusters proton pack, as well as also the neutronal one attached to the side. And it also comes with the base with the Ghostbusters uh, title there at the bottom. And uh, yeah, it just kind of rests right in there. Uh, and yeah, I gotta say, it makes a really kind of, you know, slick display piece. To be honest, it's actually quite a bit larger than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I always kind of thought this was the same size as the uh, the Ghostbusters Answer the Call Proton Pack replica that came in the, uh, what was it there, the Loot Crate back in 2016. But as you can see with the comparison between these two here, uh, this one is much, much larger. And it actually looks pretty good for an item that's packed inside a themed uh, kind of variety or mystery box. So that does it for our unboxing of the Ghostbusters 35th anniversary uh, 
GameStop Ghostbusters exclusive box set made by Culturefly. Uh, Diego, man, I want to, once again, just want to thank you for sending that over. Uh, like I said, when I first took a look at it, me being in Canada, I never actually had the opportunity of tracking one of those down. So the fact that I actually have all those goodies inside that box now, uh, really, really means the world to me. So once again, Diego, thank you. Thank you so much. And I think that kind of tops off today's video. As always, as I said at the top of the video, guys, if you'd like to send anything into the Ghostbusters News headquarters, uh, I do have the, uh, the old shipping address and it can be found right down below in the description. Uh, as always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters news here on YouTube, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to help out Ghostbusters news, we do have a Patreon page. Link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I will see everybody right back here next time, Ghostbusters news here on YouTube.